Welcome to module two. You're going to learn something about several technical authoring tools this week. That includes HTML, CSS, and Madcap Flare. So I want to talk a little bit about all three of those tutorials that you're going to finish. And I also want to introduce you to the team single source project. Let's get going. To plan your work for this week, let's look at the Gantt chart. You're going to be completing two assignments by midweek. They're shown as part of the web portfolio, but actually the HTML and CSS tutorials also support your work on the single source project. That project occupies three full weeks of the course. The other midweek deadline is to form a team for that project. Even though your deadline is in module three, you should start becoming familiar with the content your team's going to work on in that project as well. So by the end of the week, you'll individually complete the Flare tutorial. And as in other modules, you'll also submit your discussion post about your activities during the module. Let me say a little more about specifics for some of these assignments in the next couple of slides. As I said, you're going to complete three tutorials this week to develop literacies in three different digital tools. By midweek, you'll complete both the HTML and CSS tutorials available from W3 Schools. Please read the assignments carefully. There are options for building your knowledge of these coding languages for web publishing, no matter what your current knowledge level is. The important point is how far you advance rather than where you end up. I've estimated the time required to complete the first two tutorials at two and a half hours. By the end of the week, you'll also complete a standard tutorial for learning to use MADCAP's component content management system called Flare. The vast number of students who take this course are novices with Flare. This tutorial will teach you the basics. There's no need for you to download a trial version of Flare because MADCAP supplies us with access to the fully functioning version for our students. I've estimated the time required to complete the Flare tutorial at three and a half hours. You're going to be applying your knowledge of all three tools in future projects in the course. Now, let me spend a little bit of time introducing the Team Single Source Project. This is a realistic but hypothetical industry project involving three different organizations. Tech Company is a pseudonym for a server manufacturer in Huntsville, Alabama. They deliver all support documentation as PDFs to the customers who buy their servers. There are several reasons why they need a single source solution for their content. They waste a lot of money recreating many entire documents, for example, a guide for installing a server every time one little update is needed. Their customers also want a way to search for help online. In addition, they waste money on translation costs because content isn't consistent across all products or all the different documents they create to support buyers of those products. Content Rules is a consulting company in Northern California. They've convinced tech company that a single source solution might solve many of their issues. But the company wants to start with a small project before they invest in a major content strategy for all their content. Content Rules has asked your team to develop a proof of concept for tech company using some sample content. You are excited about not just winning more work if tech company agrees to a comprehensive project, but also to win other subcontracts with content rules in the future. So the content you'll be working with is about an enterprise class server that we're going to call Zen 4. The existing Zen 4 content was delivered to customers, for example, like the U.S. Air Force, as two PDFs, a system hardware installation guide that provided support, obviously, for installing the actual physical server, and then a software configuration guide that was provided to support configuration when they were ready to get the server running. Although you don't have to do anything with the content yet, it'd be wise for you to start becoming familiar with it now by scanning the PDFs. You'll find them in the single source project assignment in Canvas. The project files you'll be working with in Flare were created by importing two what are called book files from Unstructured FrameMaker. Importing into Flare is a complicated process, so it wasn't possible to have you do it yourselves because of the timeline for this project. The Flare files you'll be working with are found in all of the single source assignments on Canvas. 
The project has interrelated assignments. Some you complete as an individual, others as a team member. So let's talk about individual first. You complete three tutorials that teach digital literacies relevant to the single source project. CSS is the tool that you use to design or style all the Zen 4 content in Flare. Flare is the tool in which CSS gets implemented and it allows you to create and publish the content. Topic-based and structured authoring is one technique you're going to use in revising the existing Zen 4 content in Flare. Then as a team, you're going to use the techniques of content modeling to structure the Zen 4 content and then, of course, review each other's work to produce a proof of concept with a part of the content from Zen 4's guides. There will be three deliverables, two print guides, one website. These are going to be far from complete, but they will give tech company and content rules an idea of how single sourcing would work. One important component of your final proof of concept deliverable is a cover letter to tech company explaining your team's approach and the decisions you made. I should warn you, the project is typical of industry efforts. You don't get to start from scratch. Instead, you have to work with existing content created by other people in different formats or systems, and it really is messy. But you have to find a way to make it work. If you're the type of person who sees a mess and feels tremendous satisfaction after cleaning it up, TechCom's a good fit for you. If you're the type who sees a mess and throws up your hands while running the other direction, it probably isn't. One critical activity this week is to form a team with one or two other students in the course. You're going to work together to complete the single source assignment over the next few weeks. To maximize your success and satisfaction on the project, you're going to create a team charter and submit it at midweek. First, make sure you read the assignment on Canvas. Then you're going to download and read the team charter template. If you've taken other TechCom courses at UNT, you should be familiar with the importance of team charters. Third, you're going to discuss the content in the template with your teammates. Personalize it to make it work for you, then submit a copy to Canvas. Everyone on the team should submit the same charter. Also, remember your team is required to use Slack for communication. I'll create a channel for your team to use once your charter is approved. I've estimated the time required to complete the Form a Team assignment at about two hours. Finally, in the discussion post this week, there will be three requirements after you watch the source material, which is a one-hour video. That you respond to a post by one of your classmates. That you share two things you learned from the assigned source. And this week, you're also going to need to share your plans for improving self-regulated learning during the single source project. You're going to use your results from the baseline survey and describe one specific thing or technique you're going to use to improve in that area. I've estimated the time required to complete the post at about an hour. So you're going to be learning a lot about technical authoring tools this week, probably things that you have not done before. If you're ready, I am ready to talk to you via your Zoom meeting. I really do look forward to hearing about your course goals, your career goals, and helping you make it through the module this week. Remember, you have to set up a Zoom meeting by midweek in Module 4, so you have a little bit of time, but I'm available when you need me. Good luck!